Hi Pioneer members, Ted here with another helpful tip. Back in one of our mechanical rooms, looking at our electric, one of our electric water heaters. And on top of it is one of our load management switches. You might have one of those if you have an electric water heater. If it's not on top of your water heater, check your breaker panel. It might be underneath that. What is this? Well, certain times of the year, during especially hot, muggy afternoons, Pioneer has a potential of what they call peak demand for electricity. And with this load management switch is one tool that we use to control some electric load. Don't use them every day, it's just on those hot, muggy days. With that, it helps us prevent peak demands for electricity. If we set new peaks, guess what? We had to put more fuel through the system, costing us more money and in return costing you more money down the road. So we prevent those new peaks. Guess what? That keeps your costs more under control and it keeps your rates more stable. Well, when do we use those? Hot muggy days, mainly between the hours of two in the afternoon, to about seven in the evening. And how do you know when we are using them? Well, let's talk about it. There's a little indicator window on, on these devices. If you see a normal green light, that's under normal conditions. We're not controlling load. But when we send out a signal, you'll see a red light come on. Just like so. And with that, we are controlling load. Again, this is mainly on hot, muggy days, extreme weather days. So those six to 12 days out of the year when mother nature goes crazy on us between the hours of mainly two in the afternoon to about seven in the evening, it allows us to shut down your water heater. You got 50, 60, 80 gallons of stored hot water. And usually you will never notice that we are using it. So when we, there's only only other thing with these lights that you may notice is when there's no lights, there's no lights but you still have hot water don't worry about it that means there's some kind of interference not reaching our tower if you have no lights and no hot water check your breaker panel see if your breakers tripped if your breakers still fine and you don't have no no hot water give us a call we'll come out and check it out but if you would like to know more about it email me at energyadvisor at pioneerec.com. See you down the road.